Hey Carl here today with another YouTube video. Today I want to uplift you. I want to give you some encouragement um, from the scriptures and just from my own knowledge of, of Old Testament, you know, and New Testament scriptures and and uh, history of, of the church and stuff like that. So uh, what I find a lot of times, and I've done it too, I'm guilty as well, is I've looked at Christians who say they're Christians but aren't being as faithful as me and the people that go to the church all the time. And uh, I uh, and even a lot of people at the church, you know, I, and a lot of times in the past I've judged them and I've been like, wow, you're not really a Christian. You're a Christian by name and by precept, uh, you know, by, by the rules of the Bible. If I get baptized, I'm a Christian, so on and so forth. But you're not really a Christian. You're not a true Christian because your life doesn't add up. But there's a problem with what I've done in the past, what a lot of you... And, and, and a lot of other people have done as well, is that we have to remember that in the history of God's people, the every person having their own Bible um, is relatively new. Uh, in the history of God's people, most people only heard the scriptures read when they went to synagogue or to the church on Sunday. They had to remember that the whole entire week. Okay? So... Just by the fact that they didn't have the scriptures read to them every day, going to work, coming home, read the Bible, Bible project, all that kind of stuff, their lives were really bad compared to ours. There were a faithful few who obeyed the rules they heard and all that kind of stuff, but by and far, they were probably very worldly compared to, you know, the Christian elite that you would have today. Okay, so we have to remember that. We have to remember that that um, we are very blessed. Um, we have Bible Project, we have the internet, we have uh, Bibles, every, and every, every house has multiple Bibles almost usually, um, unless they purposely get rid of them, especially here in the United States. I mean, we have God's word everywhere. We have churches on every single corner. We have church multiple times a week, you know, stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, I mean, Basically, if we condemn people that aren't living as faithful as some of the Christian elite are, you know, today, we're basically condemning probably 90% of the entire race of God's people. Because I would say 90% did not live up to the standards that we place on people today. Because they didn't have the word of God like we do today. It, you know, they didn't have what we have. Okay, so that's my lesson today. Uh, let's let's try not to be too hard on people. And let's not be so quickly to judge them as non-believers, non-Christians. God produces 36... I mean, God, God has said that his saints produce 30, 60, 100 fold. Those who produce 30, you, you may think it's, you know, a big 30. But it really may be like these, you know, medieval Christians that went to church once a week, heard an hour of... Of scripture and went through the whole week and they had no Bible, no nothing. And they were just, they would be borderline lawless to us today. Remember one thing today. I want you to remember this. You are awesome. The church is awesome and you can do it. God bless you. Have a great day.